What should you do about insurance when you get divorced? Hi, I'm Larry Mentoring, certified financial planner, accredited investment fiduciary, and founder of Park Lake Advisors. And I'd like to welcome you to another edition of 5-Minute Finance. Divorce can be an emotionally and financially challenging life event. In the face of many possible adjustments divorce entails, making changes to insurance coverages may be overlooked. Now here's a look at each type of coverage and the changes you may wanna consider. If there's a change in auto ownership, you may need to obtain car insurance coverage that coincides with that change. You also may wanna think about removing your former spouse from a policy to protect yourself against potential liability and ensure that his or her name does not appear on any claim check. Don't forget to notify the insurance company of any address change. A divorce may mean a new place of residence for one or both spouses. Consider purchasing renter's insurance if you're moving into a new apartment. If you're staying in your present home, you may want to remove your ex-spouse's name from the policy and consider changes to any property coverage if, for instance, your former spouse is taking jewelry or other items of value from the premises. Life insurance is often purchased to cover financial obligations that may occur when a spouse passes away. Life insurance policies may be an element of your divorce agreement. If possible, consider buying a policy on a former spouse's life if he or she's providing alimony or child support. If you do retain a pre-existing policy, be sure to review and amend the beneficiary so that it reflects your current wishes. A disability may have an adverse impact on the ability of a former spouse to pay alimony or child support. As such, you may wanna consider and include the maintenance of a policy in the divorce agreement. If you or your children are covered under your former spouse's employer's group plan, you may wanna contact the employer to continue your coverage under COBRA. If you're employed, divorce is considered a significant life-changing event and will trigger a special enrollment period that will allow you to purchase coverage through your employer. If you have an individual policy, you may want to consider adding your children to that policy. That's it for our quick hit on managing your insurance after divorce. If you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out via email, info at parklakeadvisors.com or phone 517-887-9905. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and popular podcast platforms worldwide for more quick financial bites. Until next time, happy learning.